Hello my friend, welcome to my YouTube um, Nandito na naman tayo um, Ngayon po gusto ko pong um, i-video lang kung Para makita nyo kung paano um, Yung living style ko sa, sa, sa Canada na Hindi po ako mayaman, hindi po ako Uh, ano, tamang-tama lang ba? Pero, uh, hindi po rin ako uh, materialistic na sa tingin ng tao, I am. No? Which is not true. Kasi, ang gusto ko po ka, talaga sa buhay ko, mag-travel. Kasi, ang purpose ko po, uh, since, uh, uh, my purpose sa uh, doing, uh, working here after 35 years, my purpose is, after I'm done, is, I would be able to afford That's all I wanted, to be able to afford to live here either four months, six months, but half of those years, I want to live in other country, either Philippines, Laos, I don't know, guys, but um, my journey would bring me there. Right now, I can't move, I can't do anything because it's during the pandemic, as we all know, and also even with, when they open up, I couldn't go because I'm not... Uh, interested on uh, doing a lot of paperwork in the airport because guys when you travel during the pandemic because I arrived here in July 2020 yeah 2020 and from the Philippines after living there for nine months and um, just to get to the the to, to the, the um, what you call this to the airplane before you even board guys so many papers they want like you and half of them you know like i got sixth grade education i barely like could read and write come on guys like so for me i'm not i don't have the ability to to do all this um explaining uh, a beside i i wouldn't even know what to to put on in the paper so for that reason guys i'm not gonna travel i guys i, I i'm just a girl that, that got lucky to come here in canada but um i came from a poor family like a dirt poor family like a, a, it was just a sacrifice to be able to 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 live and eat every day when i was young but you know what let's put that behind us and let's I move forward, you know what I mean? I try to forget, but you know what, guys? It doesn't matter how many years you've been alive in this earth. If you uh, experience being poor, that part of your life, you will never forget. I don't know other people's, but for me, I never forget. I never forget from the time that I couldn't, I couldn't ask um, a credit in the... Uh, uh, it's Because in the Philippines, there's Bansa Sari Sari store. When we didn't have a food when we were younger, And my my mom says, or my brother, my mom normally she's is not there, uh, she's not there, and my dad is normally like is with another woman, like you know, in, instead of my dad's being busy uh, taking care of his eight kids, tap it on that we're having a, a, a rough time and poor already. Tap it on on that. My dad wasn't, it wasn't a. Uh, uh, giving support to my mom my mom she did everything i can i'm so proud of her and i love her so much but my dad on top of i'm thought of being poor my dad wasn't giving a, a support on top of that he has another woman aside so according to uh, like guys i left in the philippines when i was like um 19 and i've been with my first husband Uh, since I was 17, there is like a, a 18 years difference between me and him. So, but he, he's the one that brought me here in Canada. And um, my, we did split up, but that guy is always gonna have a room in my heart, even though I'm married now, because uh, he, he, our split up is not, uh, it's not about ang uh, anger. You know, I'm not angry, and hopefully he was not angry too. Is he, guys? Is not any longer with us, so yeah, I would rather not talk about something that, um, because it's not fair. So I'm just trying to tell you guys my story, how um everything goes uh in my life. Um, yeah, this is how I I started to to um to have my life in Canada in 1985. 
which is I already bid you that. Uh, right now, guys, my my we're planning to uh, to uh, wait in here to uh, open up the airport so we could go to uh, we're targeting to go to Palawan and um, uh, we're taking our dog and um, hopefully the um, our next uh, uh, episode or our next journey will be so smooth because guys uh, after 2019 before I arrived um, I expecting the because I do have a sister and brothers in the Philippines. I was expecting that um, after supporting them and giving them my help for 20 years, I thought maybe they they acknowledge that they are my family. But guys, I tell you, 20, 20 years I helped my, my I helped them. I bought them this. I bought them that. I help all my family. But after uh, 20 years, I I decided that I'm gonna go there. You guys. You're not even gonna believe what they did to me. I ended up having to rent apartment on my own instead of living on my own house that I supposed to have, which is I never had. But I'll tell you guys what happened to that, okay? And uh, during my, I, I can't speak that like now because I get so emotional because it's so bad. Uh, even an animal, guys, could not swallow what happened to me in the Philippines. Even no, no human, no human being that I met in my my time except this my own family that made uh, so bad things like that and I cannot say it what it is but um, uh, I'm sure once I'm back to the Philippines I'm gonna try to see if I could video the house that I bought that they say that it's not mine because I told her that she could stay in her name uh, for a while uh, but I don't know what she did she sold it but when I arrived there guys you know what they did they told me that they rather see me um, uh, not come back and uh, not go inside their house that's how they treated me and guys I melt like a candle so fast you know the candles melt so slow I wasn't I melt in two seconds because they treat me so badly it wasn't good so this time I'm going back to Philippines guys it's they're not included and I block all of them in my page because there's not even apology or anything that you know I spent 8 million pesos to these people and I have the receipt and it's not about the money it's about what they did to me guys I will show you these people and their picture uh, in the future when I'm ready to even like you right now it's too heavy for me I, I better uh, try to not get into that um, that uh, um, conversation right now I don't know how I even get here like I told you guys I'm not a very good professional um, youtuber but if uh, you guys interested even though I'm making a lot of mistake on videoing what I want to say I hope you guys um, um, would uh, listen to this and how how a girl after 20 years thinking that she's gonna go back that she have a family in the Philippines G guys there's eight of us and guys um, just stay tuned in the future i will let you know what happened to me in the philippines why because supposedly guys i would spend like nine months there three months here because i carry canadian passport so i they giving me a one year visa balik bayan and if my husband goes along with me in the airport right he gets right visa one year same time same time uh, as long as we arrive same time but that's not always the truth, guys, because I heard people said that if you uh, um, married to Filipina and Balik Bayan and you all, that man also get, uh, your husband gets also a, a one year. That's not always the case. I think sometimes if they're not in, they're in the bad mood, the people that works in the airport, I think you don't get it. I don't know. I heard that. But it didn't, guys, didn't happen to me, but I heard from other people that could happen but right now i'm taking advantage that once the pandemic is finished i will arrive with my husband in manila airport going to palawan hopefully that guys that it's not uh, 
they're not gonna give us a hard time to give us a one year uh, entry visa to the Philippines because I am born in the Philippines. The only reason I carry Canadian passport is because I lost my Philippine passport when I first arrived here. I was carrying a Cana uh, Philippine passport and then I lost it. And for some reason, I I didn't I didn't. Um, I wasn't interested in finding it. I just said, oh, well, I'll just apply for Canadian passport because knowing that I'm already a Canadian citizen, so it's easy for me to apply for Canadian passport to leave. So that's what I did, guys, instead of going to uh, get a Philippine passport. But I love my country. I still love Philippines. I love Canada, but I still love Philippines. Philippines also, die, guys, uh, uh, I'm not... Um, it, that's uh, how I discovered that uh, no matter where you are and what you do and how many years you've been gone, where you, the place you born, you always go back. You always go back. I didn't realize that, you know, even whether for, for just a little bit or a lot of bit, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, you, you know what I mean? It's you always go back. You always go back. Uh, and also uh, during the time that my parents alive and they pass away, I nobody, none of those uh, siblings of mine spend any money. There's eight of us, only one person paid for everything. For every person that passed away in my family, it's only one person that I, so I couldn't go home and see them be buried because instead of give, uh, going to buy a ticket for myself, I give it to them guys. And at the end, I ended up like them treating me like not very good. But you know, stay tuned because you know all these things that I told you guys that um, that happened to me in the Philippines during my uh, go home there. That I thought I have a family. You will find out this. Uh, I will open up this um, uh, in the future. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. I'll see you next time and. Salamat po!